that was the battle that that day. And then the very next morning we get hit with it. <coughs> they try to take the town back, counter attack the very next morning. And the very, I think it was the very next evening, Captain Bergeron met me, he said, I'm looking for you. They want somebody to go across to to uh, the airport, uh, Tarpakay Airport. And he said, I volunteered to take the crew. Come on with me. Now, I still thought, now this is going to be a real good adventure, this one. So away we went. He had two other men. I, I didn't know the other fellows. I don't know to this day who they were. But we went across, there was no trouble to go through the German lines because they're talking back and forth. You knew exactly where they where they were stationed. But I never saw a thing that would tell me that we were anywhere near an airport. I never saw a thing. Because I didn't know much about an airport. I would look over, expect runways, hangars or something. But we did get back into the artillery. German artillery. He was trying to find out how much the Germans had there. But as far as I know, we weren't near the airport. We must have went beside it because we get back into the artillery. But it, it, it was a good adventure. And I don't know if it was the next day or the next day we wound out on a patrol with that guy in the daytime, into the German lines. He was, he was a terrible man. He was, he was the toughest man I ever met in my life. 